Mike Trout here and I want to do a quick video on an amazing new company that I just learned about called Nextdoor and let me tell you about this company um, and I think it's going to be as big as as Facebook and it's going to grow very quickly and I'm going to actually introduce it in Japan when I go there because I love it so much but there are also risks and I want to show you point one out because ultimately especially in the current American environment of exclusion and fear and everything else that's being developed because of our current administration and the travel ban walls and so on and so on and so on our it's affecting our local communities and people are afraid people are concerned especially you know like myself I have a 91 year old uh, dad who actually was robbed by a neighbor in his neighborhood he was prosecuted, he paid the price, you know, and I hope he's gone the straight and narrow. So, crimes can't happen within the neighborhood. But this company is called Next Door. And ultimately, let me show it. Unfortunately, I don't have screen capture, right? Screen capture. So, I'm just going to record it with my phone. So, the landing page is like this. Now, the only way you can get into Next Door is one of two ways. Number one is you can prove that you live here. And this is one of the problems is comp businesses that do work here and may have an office like in Sugar Mill um, can apply to get in and then what they do is they use it a way to market their services which I think is wrong because it should only be for residents it should not be for businesses if the owner lived in Sugar Mill then he should be allowed to do it but if they don't then they should be excluded so I'm in what's known as Sugar Mill 4 the best way to show you that is the map and you click on map and this is kinda cool they use Google Maps right and here's our house and green means they're in and have a star um, yellow means they've been invited and ultimately um, you know in white and the reason for example here's a mess up the reason why these are white and you can't um, add them you notice the doubles up here the double circles right here this is Sylvia Court this is Sylvia Court this is Sylvia Court East this is West and if you click on this, one of these houses is this one, right? They have the same number, but different E and W, right? So it screws up these houses. So these houses aren't on because of the multiple Sylvia, Salvia, sorry, I say Sylvia, Salvia on, it, on courts on it. There are community guidelines. And my opinion is before you post, before you do anything, what they need to do is make sure that this, that they basically... They could do a, kind of a flash up with an accept, so this screen just loads within another screen, and they have to press an accept, um, and maybe checkbox each thing. So uh, be helpful, not harmful. That's what I'm trying to do in my posts, and I'll go to that later. Uh, do not use as a soapbox. Uh, maybe I'm doing a little bit of that. I'm not ranting, over posting, dominating, uh, contra campaign, right? So no, no soapbox, right? Uh, I'm not going to post anymore. I've made my point, but um, um, I'm going to go over that, but not to use it. And I think I'm, I may be on the verge of that if I post again, so I'm not going to post anymore. Um, I may delete my other posts. That's what I'm going to do and just have one post. All right. Uh, next door. Okay. Promote local business. Promote local businesses and commerce the right way. Okay. Promoting your business. Um, classifieds. Fundraising. Right. So I don't necessarily agree with this. I think it should be more referrals. Um, use your true identity, right? Keep it clean and legal. Additional policy resources. So I think people should accept this when they, you know, because ultimately you don't see this and they should, you know, everyone needs to read the guidelines before going forward. And it's an option to click down and get it and it should be more a requirement for people to read up front. Um, like anything like Facebook, anything else, you're gonna get over notified. So I've turned off notifications. So I I am not basically um, a Pavlovian dog that responds to every beep, right? I when I decide to come here, I come here and I respond to emails. I do that with all my social media so that way I'm not a slave to the social media platform. Something I recommend folks to do. Um, and all right, oh, these are our oh wait that's actually emails I actually want that on that was the wrong one notifications uh, thanks for 
Um, I'm trying to find. So, <laughs> I've only been on a day. I'm already maybe getting into hot water. Well, but I explain why, and I'll go through it. So there is there is a there is a community watch area um, for it, and basically what happened was um, um, someone all of a sudden uh, pulled up and left their car, and it appeared they jumped in the car and ran away, and they didn't go any other houses. They only went to their house and they chased after them and couldn't get them and so the next thing they did was they took a picture of the business car and they put it up into um, you know into the um, you know, neighborhood, neighborhood watch um, and I'm trying to find where the posting was notifications there it goes um, it's called post solicitation right let me just read it today a man showed up to my door promoting uh, pressure washing. Um, I was indisposed and my wife answered the door. He gave her a card and by the time I got to the door he had jumped in the passenger side of an old rough looking light green Jeep, like really detailed, uh, Cherokee pulling uh, a homemade um, enclosed gray trailer around 10 feet long and 5 feet wide. It's a homemade. So it's really shady here um, they took off and I jumped in, in the car to find them as they they had only stopped at two houses in our area Ooh, really suspicious that appeared to have no one at home obviously they were gonna rob the place after giving them the business card with who they are you know so that was a lose of business card maybe could not find them anywhere just a heads up Jim Jim's Jim card is attached. My wife called it to called it into the office, right? And hopefully you you meant the sheriff's office, right? And there's all these posts, blah blah blah. And I'm like, what is going on? The guy, you know, is dropping a business card. Now there is no solicitation. So is this June bug? So one guy wrote, is this June bug? And not being from here, I didn't know June bug was a person. I thought, oh, June bug meaning it's hot and people are kind of going crazy. Um, and, you know, it just goes on and 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 on. So finally I go, his business card's getting, a, so my first post is, his business card is getting a lot of views. Is this a Trump thing? You know, like, you know how Trump uses drama to get a lot of views, right? For his, that's, that's how he got elected. He basically was just controversial, 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 and he had news, 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 and, you know, and got elected, so maybe this is a Trump thing. And also, there's other other ways to interpret this. Meaning, you know, are we now building a wall around our community? Um, and I mentioned this in my second post here. So when you get in here, there's Michael Trout. Go to here and view your profile, and then you can edit up everything here. And what I think um, is important is this. So what you can do is invite your neighbors. So this is, you know, you can see folks who are on here simply by sending in invite your neighbors. You can also send them a, a card. It took me a while, but I finally found what I was looking for. I was like, where is it? I found it once. I hate that, right? Hard to find. So under settings, right, you go to, um, where is it here? Oh, up here, nearby neighborhoods. Okay, email alerts, privacy account, nearby and it, on your list, your list for nearby turned on, personalize your neighborhoods. This is probably really important because ultimately if you just want to focus, like I have Walden Woods and Royal Heights turned off, or maybe I want to turn off, I just want to deal with folks in here, which I think I'm going to do right now because what I want to do is um, do a community. So I'm curious what happens when I turn all of these off. So Sugar Mill 5, where's 5 is off. So now I'm only dealing with this, all right, your neighborhood, which gets me to the last part of this video. Um, you know, there was a guy who basically is just trying to get some work, and he made the accident of dropping off a few cards, and the card ended up here, and there's a whole rant of, you know, uh, a, well, not really a rant, rants about it, but concerned citizens. I understand why, okay? I wouldn't say a rant, but it just seemed to me, 
kind of overreaction, overreaction where a simple phone call to the call person, you know, saying, hey, this is no soliciting, why are you calling, I am putting you on report, was well, all that was needed. And it went to, like, the sheriff's office and everything else, and the sheriffs are busy, the police are busy, you know. Um, so I called the guy. This is Jim, and this is the post. I'm trying to make sure I don't hit anyone's names and stuff in here, but this is Jim, and so I'm now making a video for you, Jim. Um, and, you know, I actually called the guy, and Jim turns out, seems like a young guy just starting out, trying to get his own business going. He lives in Spring Hill. He's had four clients in Sugar Mill. He volunteers and has worked for the First Methodist Church of Spring Hill. He's like, you can call them for referrals. I give, he donates his money. I don't know anyone who basically works and then donates a portion of the money that he earns to the church. That's the kind of guy he is. I've never done that. I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm not that kind of guy. Um, and ultimately, um, you know, he was up here. He's done work for four people. He can, um, he can provide those re referrals to folks. Um, and he was rushing back to Spring Hill. He saw some houses that need his work, and he was like on his way out. He just dropped off a couple business cards and, you know, and rushed to get to his next job in Spring Hill. So, you know, it wasn't nefarious. It was just a guy. He didn't know the rules. Uh, most people starting out just kind of hustle and bustle. They have to be here. They're just trying to get that extra job to make it through, to pay for their health insurance, to pay for their family. And we don't have any signage here, and that's the problem. It, yes, it's the county rule, and who, who, you know, who knows all the rules? And, oh, you should know it. Well, I think large companies should know it. And if it's a company with obviously paid for trucks and everything else, yes, they should know it, and they should, you should hound them. But if it's just a guy starting out who's built his own trailer that like was described, and he's got an old truck, and he's just trying to get to that next job, next job, you know, to report him to the sheriff, to you know, to kind of to, to act like he's maybe doing something wrong, is wrong, period. And I don't care how safe you're trying to be, it doesn't take much courage to pick up the phone, call the person, inform the person, until he's been put on report. Just letting you know, right? It's not allowed here. Right? And be nice and friendly like I was to the guy. That's all. So now, you know, I think I got a few people angry at me because I'm telling you how it is. And the thing is, is when people know they're wrong, they fight against it. They don't want to admit it. That's just human nature. Um, all I'm doing is pointing out maybe a possible better way to do things. And I've tried to do it in a very light-handed instead of saying, what the hell are you doing, right? I could be wrong. Like, I could, could be wrong. So there was a post back against me, and I'll let you read my last post. So I don't know if you're going to be able to read this. But basically, what we need around the community are these kind of signs on a, on a metal post, like a parking, you know, placed around in strategic places where where car drives down, they see it. When they come in, they see it. When, you know, they, there's no excuses at that point if we have no solicitation signs. And this is what I wrote. And I'm dyslexic, so my writing sucks. But, you know, if someone says, oh, you're, like, I'm attacking a person, no, it's, uh, you know, I would not say... Um, um, someone, I would say people are overreacting, you know, so the no solicitation rule needs to be visible, number one. Number two, the guy's great, and I talked to him, and I think he's a great guy, you know. Number three, um, you know, um, ultimately, uh, um, we don't want to have companies, businesses using next door as a way to market their services, and it's all going to be about them, and everything's going to spam. And uh, lastly, I think you know the Oak Village Association. Last time I checked, a couple years ago, had two million in their treasury because they post that's a public record. They should put up the signage, and we should, if we if we're that concerned, let's put up um, you know cameras that attach their home Wi-Fi that is accessible to the community here, and that everyone could be a neighbor to watch at night, watching and watching cars and everything else in the neighborhood. That's it. The video. Don't get angry at me. <laughs> I'm just telling you how I feel, and I could be wrong.